report released for Holocaust Memorial Day found that violent incidents have dropped by 12% worldwide, but U.S. campuses have become hotbeds of Jewish hatred, and there's been a surge of 45% of anti-Semitic incidents there. IBA's R.A. O'Sullivan has more. Surprising or not, anti-Semitism grew in the country the most not identified with hate, the United States. According to the Cantor Center for the Study of Contemporary European Jewry's annual report, this past year saw a dramatic spike of 45 percent of incidents in the American campuses and universities. The universities' campuses, uh, both on, uh, across the United States and in Canada, the cases in them rose in 2016, and we mentioned it, by 45 percent. This is related in a large part to the anti-Israeli activity on the campuses led by pro-Palestinian bodies, NGOs, BDS movements. A lot of cases that are as if anti-Zionist, but they are spoken and expressed and done with anti-Semitic motives. Anti-Semitism grew with the election of Donald Trump as the president, mainly seen by vandalism of graves and graffiti. It was not just in the U.S., but also in Britain, which saw an 11 percent rise in incidents, even in Australia, a 10 percent rise. While the Anglo-Saxon world saw a rise, the rest of the world saw a drop by about 12 percent. There were 361 incidents last year, compared to 410 in 2015. France once topped the list, but now saw a 61 percent drop, as well as in Belgium, possibly due to increased security measures. Internet is a strong presence of anti-Semitism, particularly on Twitter and Facebook. Officials say that in Europe, moves by far-right groups to appear as allies of the Jews shouldn't be trusted. The common understanding between the Jewish communities is that these parties, even if for the short term, could, could look as if they are an allies for the long term. They're definitely a threat. On the bright side, the report found that the wave of Islamic migrants to Europe were too busy to be involved in anti-Semitism of the fear that was prevalent, that the newcomers would come and that Semitism would rise all over because they come from Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan, etc. This is like blaming the whole public before they even set foot uh, somewhere. And the answer is that they are busy being absorbed and surviving. And those who are perpetrating are, as before, radical right, Islamists and hooligans. The ironic evidence shows that the one spot where the extreme right meets the extreme left is their common hatred of the Jew. Ariel O'Sullivan for IBA News.